here at the Guide Gallery represent about 30 to 40 African artists. Two of my favorite artists are Larry O2 and Kofi Agasor. Let's talk first about Larry. Larry I met about 15 years ago. He is probably at the top of his game. His art is just absolutely wonderful. Can't say enough about Larry O2. He is one of those guys that I would call a gentle giant. A little short man, a little soft spoken, but he can paint like crazy. His paintings are just absolutely phenomenal. The colors will touch you in every way possible. Larry said to me, he said, you know, I, I like to paint what I see every day. And that is um, pretty much people. He loves people. He's big on jazz paintings. He can, can paint some jazz scenes that'll make you feel and hear the music. He will paint women that just have incredible colors. Their clothes just brighten up everywhere you look. He does all kinds of things. He does these faces that are sort of abstract, but they really hit you. And we've actually bought pieces directly from Larry, but we've also commissioned him to do some pieces for us. I remember one time he sent me this face that just grabbed me. It was nothing but an abstract face. I put it on the wall, and next day somebody from New York came in and they bought it. I said, Larry, you gotta do me 10 more of those. He did me 10 more of those, those went. And we're probably now maybe at 40 or 50 of this, just those particular pieces where he has these women and these men with this hair and these lips and this, just incredible colors. Larry is probably, no not probably, he is one of the hottest artists out of Ghana. He graduated from the College of Art at the University of Science and Technology in Kumasi in 1981. And he also has a master's degree in African art and comparative literature from Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Love his work, love him every time I see him, love him every time I talk to him. He just keeps on painting. The other artist is Kofi Agasor. I met Kofi about 20 years ago in Accra. When I first met him, I thought, this is just a tiny little man. And he is a tiny little man, but he packs a powerful punch. He's actually a jazz musician, and that shows up in a lot of his paintings. And he's also a priest. Cool guy. He is our top seller and has been our top seller for many years now. The thing that I like about Kofi is that his works are all over the place. He does abstract pieces that you would not think were done by Kofi Agasor. When I first met him, I started buying his paintings of people that I call the little-headed and the little-handed people. And they have sold quite well. These are both men and women who have little bitty heads and long, long bodies and little feet and little hands. So I call them the little people. And he depicts them in all kinds of scenes. They can be women at a bar, uh, or on a piano, doing something exciting, just hanging out, doing a fashion show, you name it, and he's done it. But his abstracts have really touched the consumers in the Houston area. Just explosions and splashes of wonderful, wonderful colors. And he even has some hidden gems in them. If you look at them closely, you'll be able to see things. You'll see people, you'll see objects, you'll see smiles. If you look closely, you'll see whatever you wanna see. But he is something else. I remember going to his house one time and he had these paintings everywhere. And so he let me finger through the paintings or flip through the paintings and I did. And I found some works that I thought were just incredible. Now what artist will let you come to his house, go through all of his stuff and pick out your own pieces? He has been a blessing. Kofi Agasor, he is a true artist. He is hot. <laughs>